what I want to do is find three consecutive numbers whose sum is 138. So the first thing I want to do when I'm doing a word problem is I always want to determine what is the question asking? What am I trying to get out of this problem? And they want three consecutive numbers. So therefore, I don't really, um, uh, I'm not going to worry about consecutive right now, but I'm going to worry about, I'm going to need three numbers. So I'm just going to list these right now. I'm just going to say first number, second number, and third number. I need to find all three of those numbers. All right. Then the next thing it says, um, and three connects to the number whose sum is 138. That means I'm going to add all those numbers and I'm going to get 138. Now, consecutive, I need to figure out what consecutive means. Well, consecutive means one right after another. So four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 99, 100, and 101. So I need a way to represent these, all right? We just can't, we can just start doing guess and check, um, but when you're doing a standardized test or when you're figuring this out, or you, know, you need a method that we can use over and over and over again for problems that might be too hard for us to guess and check. So it says find three consecutive numbers. Well, let's just say we have a number and we don't know what that number is. So we're all assigning a variable. Let's say, let's let um, n equal the value of a number. Now, for instance, let's say n equals 10. So if I was gonna say three consecutive numbers starting with 10, if I did n is equal to 10, right? Let's say n equals 10. The next number would be 11. Now how do you get from 10 to 11? I had to do, I had to add one, right? So you say like plus one. Well, if I had a plus one to n, I'd get n plus one. And then my next number would be 12. Now how, from 10 to 11, I had a plus 1. From 10 to 12, I had a plus 2. Well, it's going to be the exact same thing for your n. To get from n to 12, or, you know, if I get n, the next number is n plus 1, the next number will be n plus 2. So without knowing what any of these numbers are, I can write an expression for three numbers that are consecutive. n being my first number, which is just any number. We don't know what it is. But we know that the next number has to be my first number plus one. And the next number after that has to be my first number plus two, since they are consecutive. Since I know that, and I know n is the value of a number, I'm gonna say my first number is n, my second number is n plus one, and my third number is gonna be n plus two. That's very, very important helping us because now I can write an equation because it says the sum of all these numbers is 138. So I'll write n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 and equals 138. And I wrote these in parentheses just so you guys can understand. That's my first number, second number, and third number. I can now get rid of these parentheses and combine like terms. So I can only add the n's together, which gives me 3n. And then I can only add my numbers together, which gives me 3. Now we have a two-step equation. So here I'm going to subtract 3. I get 3n is equal to 135. Then I'll divide by 3 on both sides, and I get n is equal to 45. Now a lot of students want to leave their answer there and be very careful, guys. We're not asking for what n was. We're asking for what was n, what was the value of the number, or what was, I'm sorry, the three numbers that we're trying to find. So you can simply write out um, our three consecutive our three consecutive numbers are 45 45 plus 1 would be 46 45 plus 2 would become 47. And that's how you find three consecutive values whose sum is 138.